I'm shocked. I would have thought that the school would have somehow mentioned it to the rest of the parents or something, you know. What happened at Hoover Middle School in Taylor is shocking to parents who are just finding out about it and, of course, upsetting to the teacher, whose coffee was reportedly tampered with by a student. My understanding that she put hand sanitizer in the teacher's coffee cup. A seventh grader, 14 years old, say police, did put liquid hand sanitizer similar to this in her teacher's coffee back on January 25th when the teacher stepped out of the room. The teen reportedly did it because the teacher had disciplined her. But the teacher told police when she came back in the room, several students yelled, don't drink it, and she didn't. That's just got to be horrible, especially if it's you, you think you have trust with the students and then something like that happens. What the teacher did do, though, was take the student to the office. Police were called and the teen was taken into custody. Police are seeking a warrant for attempted poisoning. On the district end of it, after a hearing, the girl was expelled from school, says the superintendent, Beth Iverson, expelled for endangerment and assaulting a staff member. You do not put any foreign substance, I don't care what it is, you do not put it in anyone's food or drink. Um, the consequences are very severe for that kind of behavior. Taylor police say they're waiting to hear from the prosecutor about possible criminal charges. Meanwhile, the 14-year-old, who was released to her parents, cannot return to any Taylor school for 180 days. And finally, we did reach out to the teacher, but we're told she just wants to put this behind her. In Taylor, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. A little more information here from Cheryl. The superintendent says the student can try to enroll in another district or perhaps a charter school. Now, police say if a student is charged, likely she would face felony charges.